research is about inflammatory bowel disease, and inflammatory bowel disease um, is a disease that we don't really know the cause. We know that there are a number of triggers. Um, some of those are to do with the environment, diet, um, other components that are in our environment that we don't really understand. Some genetic associations, but also more recently an understanding about how the microbes that live in our gut interact with the cells that lie in our gut. So these. Um, three things somehow uh, become imbalanced and they trigger an inflammatory insult onto the cells that lie in the gut. So I'm interested in exploring more about the detail about what happens at the, um, the level of the barrier of the gut, um, those cells that lie in the gut. And what we can do is we can grow them in culture um, and I'm interested in finding out how they actually talk to each other and how the junctions actually perform under different conditions, inflammatory insults and so on. I use cells that have been derived from a human and they can form a monolayer which is very much like the, the monolayer of cells that line the gut. But it occurred to me that actually the way in which I was growing these cells wasn't very physiological and the reason for that is that we grow cells in cell labs in atmospheric conditions which isn't really how these cells were originally um, found, they were originally from somebody's um, gut which is actually at around 3 to 5 percent oxygen as opposed to the atmosphere, atmosphere which is about 20 percent oxygen. So that's one of the reasons why I then sought to find a way in which I could routinely grow gut epithelial cells at a lower oxygen environment. So that's why we use the H35 hypoxy workstation but I think it's important to emphasize that it's not about hypoxia, it's about a physiologically relevant low oxygen concentration so that the environment is similar to how these cells would actually be inside somebody's human body. During uh, GI surgery, if somebody's having surgery, uh, a complication called gut ischemia can sometimes occur, which basically means that the supply of oxygenated blood has been reduced to the gut. And this isn't very good, obviously, for, the, for some surgical outcomes, um, but also a way in which to investigate that in this particular scenario is to be able to change the levels of oxygen down to very, very low, almost 0% so that you can then measure that using the equipment that I use to measure, measure permeability. So that's a really useful thing about the workstation. So one of the things that I actually um, find very useful about the environment is that it's actually uh, big enough to be able to stay in there, keep your cells growing in there all the time, subculturing them as you need to, but also I do my experiments in there. So I treat them with inflammatory stimuli and so on, and I measure the gut permeability using special equipment that I actually take in um, through the side door so that I can actually do experiments inside the environment. So at all times the cells are kept at the environment that they would normally expect to be grown in. And I think that's really important to produce results then that are going to be more relevant and more useful to other researchers who work in gut inflammation.